Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error saying that the file location is not available or the file or directory is corrupted on your hard disk. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by first identifying what drive we're experiencing the issue with. So if we open up the start menu and type in this PC and we open up this PC, Underneath devices and drives, you want to take note of whichever drive you're experiencing the problems with. So if it happens to be the drive that Windows is installed on, which should be the local disk, we can see in our case it's the C drive. If you had any external media, maybe it was a D, E, or F drive, you want to take note of that as well for the next step of this tutorial. So I'm going to minimize out of that, and now I'm going to open up the star menu and type in command prompt. Best match should say command prompt directly above desktop app. I'm going to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. And now you want to type in chk dsk space. And now I'm going to insert my drive letter here, which is my C drive. And then I'm going to do a colon, so one dot on top of another dot. And then I'm going to do another space forward slash f. So it should say chk dsk space. C colon another space forward slash F. Then you're going to hit enter. It says the check disk cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? If you want to restart the computer, I would highly recommend you close out of any open programs or applications. But you first want to type the Y key on your keyboard and then hit enter to confirm. And then it will say this volume will be checked the next time your system restarts. Again, you have to hit the Y key, hit enter, and then it'll tell you that the volume will be checked. If you had any external media that wasn't in use but just plugged into the computer, I do not believe you would need to restart your computer because the drive would not be in use. You just obviously cannot be accessing or reading or writing any files to that drive while the scan is commenced or once it has begun. So I just want to put that out there. And I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys fix your problems. Let the computer restart will take a little bit of time depending on your hard drive size. And I do hope you have positive results from this. So as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.